Hello, if you're watching this, I'm going to assume that someone has labeled your child as having a sensory processing disorder or sensory integration disorder. Uh, in truth, these are not terms I use because in reality, every child that has any kind of develop or developmental or neurological issue has sensory issues. And if you will, addressing sensory issues should be part of any comprehensive neurodevelopmental program. To first address these issues, the first thing we have to do is identify a cause. And there can be a, a wide variety of causes. For example, children missing some of their basic developmental motor pieces and you know, not going through the right steps can affect uh, their tactility, which tactility essentially means what they feel, what information their brain gets from the environment, from their body to the proprioception, which is the brain's knowledge of where your various pieces are. These things affect fine motor function, gross motor function, balance, orientation and space, all those pieces. Uh, other areas that can create these sensory issues are auditory issues. Uh, kids with chronic middle ear fluid, chronic ear infections, this can affect auditory tonal processing, figure ground processing. This in turn affects the child's ability to process what's being said. Uh, it can create sound sensitivities. It can create aversive behaviors relative to sounds and create a plethora of different learning problems. Uh, other issues that affect sensory function are everything from problems with the gut, digestion, to a wide variety of neurological problems. Yeah. So we need to, if you will, identify what the cause is and address the cause. Uh, we then need to look at all those pieces that are being affected, uh, not the least of which often are basic fundamental cognitive pieces, such as auditory processing, visual processing, short-term memory, working memory, all of these really fundamentals that affect your child's global development, your child's education, your child's cognition, their ability to, to learn and think. So we need to put all these pieces together, address all of these issues, to put together a package that's appropriate for a child who has sensory issues. Okay, we work with a whole child. It's important that you work with a whole child. Put together all the pieces. Don't treat your child as a label. See your child, if they have sensory problems, is having a developmental issue that needs to be addressed. Okay. So we do that. We work with that. Uh, I'd encourage you to read our articles, watch our videos, see if what we say makes sense to you. If so, you know, give us a shout. We're here to help. Thanks.